The claims made in The Third Eye about an underground civilization are controversial and have been subject to much scrutiny and skepticism. Some believe that Lobsang Rampa's story is a complete fabrication, while others suggest that it may be based on some kernel of truth or personal experience that has been embellished over time. Regardless of its authenticity, the story has captured the imaginations of many who are fascinated by the possibility of hidden worlds beneath our feet. There have been other stories throughout history of subterranean civilizations, some of which have gained more credibility than others. The existence of underground cities and tunnels has been confirmed in places such as Turkey, Iran, and the United States, and it is believed that these structures may have been used for purposes such as shelter during wars or as storage spaces for food and supplies. The possibility of undiscovered underground civilizations raises many questions about the nature of our planet and the secrets it may still hold. While it is unlikely that we will ever uncover definitive proof of such civilizations, the speculation and imagination they inspire are a testament to the human desire for discovery and understanding of the unknown. There has been a lot of focus on exploring what lies beyond our planet and what lurks in the depths of our uncharted seas, but what lies beneath us has received relatively little attention. There are many strange and bizarre theories about subterranean civilizations that have long disappeared, living beneath the surface and remaining undiscovered. One of the most outlandish claims comes from the autobiography of Lubsang Rampa, who wrote about his visit to the palace of the Dalai Lama, an exploration of a system of caves in Tibet. He claimed to have seen strange symbols and drawings on the walls, along with images of giants and creatures he had never seen before. Similar stories about ancient races of enormous beings inhabiting the deep, dark places of our world are quite numerous. In 1880, the New York Times reported on an underground city discovered in Missouri during mining. Two workers claimed to have found the remains of giants who had been trapped in darkness for 1,000 years. Similarly, in Japan, a scientist named Masanori Nishimura noticed parallels between the Bible and the mythological book Kojiki, which describes relics and their connection to Mount Kurama. His excavation team discovered numerous tunnels in space, 